Hello, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and if, like me, you've ever had a child hanging off your chain and digging into the back of your neck, this will come as a real blessing for you. These are teething necklaces, or really just fiddle necklaces for babies if you're just carrying them or breastfeeding. They're fabric, and I've used a nice Liberty lawn fabric here, so they will go in the washing machine and they'll dry really, really quickly. And then they've just got plastic beads inside them. And they, even if you haven't got a child, they're quite a nice, funky piece of uh, jewellery for you to wear. So to get started, what you need is a strip of fabric that's about two and a half centimetres wide by 45 centimetres long. And I've simply folded in five mil on each edge, so it looks like a bias binding strip. I'm just going to tuck in that end there, so that you have a nice, neat end to your necklace that won't fray. Let's just pop a pin in that. Oh, Actually, do you know what? I'm going to start at the other end. What I'm also using, because this is quite fine lawn, uh, I've changed my normal 90 needle to a fine 70 needle. Just means that it won't make such a big hole in your fabric as you're sewing. Fold in the bias strip, like this, oh, tuck it under your foot and uh, sew down the edge. The other thing also, I mean if you're using fine fabric, if you use a fine needle there's less chance of it pushing the fabric down into the works of your machine. pin out before I forget. Oh. There we go, and you've made a strap. Here's another one that I made earlier. I say they're both 45 centimetres wide. And now I've got another piece of lawn, which is seven and a half centimetres wide by about 90. Uh, I've folded it in the centre. It's important to know where the centre of that piece of fabric is. I'm going to fold it right sides together. And I'm just going to pin on that centre mark. Because when it comes to uh, threading your beads in the middle of it, it's quite handy to know. I want to leave a gap just slightly off centre. So I'm going to start about eight centimetres away from that centre mark. And again, just run a seam right up the end here. and we'll leave the ends of this tube open. You'll see why in a minute. Go back to where you were. Let's just move that pin so it's on the top of the fabric so I can see it. And again, start just a centimetre before that centre mark. So what you've got in effect is you've got your turning gap just slightly off centre. So you've got a tube with two open ends. Now, if you pop a piping turner from this centre gap here up to the tube, 
and you grab the finished end of your cord, which was the end that we folded under earlier. And most of these um, piping turners have got a little hook on them. So hook that through your cord, like so, if you can. And then just pull that cord back through the tube. A bit more. So you've got about a centimetre hanging off the end of that tube. Just pin it to make sure it doesn't slide all the way out. And then just fold the ends of this wide tube around it so that what happens is when you stitch across the end to secure it, take your pin out, and go backwards and forwards over there a couple of times just to make sure it is secure. What it will do is it tape with your wide cord down. down to the width of your tying cord, as it were. And then you just use the tying cord to pull it the right way out. So you can see you've got your thicker bit of necklace, but it's you, you've not got a big, ugly square shoulder on it, as it were. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the other side. And actually, if you if you do get one of these piping turners, they are quite an investment because they are so handy for all kinds of things. Oh, unless they fall off the hook. And stopping about a centimetre so that, that that neck cord is a centimetre longer than your wide tube. There you go. And again, pull this the right way out like so so you've now got a nice wide tube with two narrower tubes on the end now you think oh my god that's a really long necklace there's a reason it's that long because you're going to have to put knots in it which will shorten the length up if you find out where your center is again here and the gap is to my right of the center so I want more beads in this side then in that side. And I'm just going to thread four beads in one side. And three beads in the other. Now these beads, these are just um, old plastic beads, which are ideal really for teething because they're, you know, there's, there shouldn't be anything in there that will harm your baby. If you use painted wood, there is the, the worry that if it gets wet, you know, the paint might come off the wood. And the plastic ones also, they wash in the washing machine so very easily. Push your three beads down to there, the four beads down to there. And what you want to do is, that's your centre point, where you've made this gap here. Let me just trim off those edges of thread. Rather than sew the gap up, what you can just simply do is tie an overhand knot Through that gap, bringing the beads with it. You might need to make the loop of the overhand knot a bit bigger so you can get the beads through it. And just don't pull this really tight at this point because now what you want to do is take that fourth bead. 
bring it up close to the knot and tie another overhand knot on the other side of that bead. And this is why you make the gap <coughs> slightly off centre so that you don't have to worry about your bead falling out of the turning gap. Let's just move them up. Yeah, that's perfect. That bead is sitting centrally in the necklace. So now what I can do is push those knots up and pull them nice and tight. And then you just carry on moving the beads down and tying an overhand knot. Sliding it down to the bead, quite tightly down to the bead before you really pull it snug, like so. And you can put as many or as few beads in this necklace as you like, but I do recommend you put an odd number in so that you can have that one central bead in the middle to make an even necklace. The one thing that you will find, if you put too many beads in there though, it will start becoming difficult trying to tie that overhead knot with the last few. So that's one side of the necklace done. There you go. Make sure they're nice and tight and then you can simply tie your necklace together at the back. And slip it over your head. And there you've got a nice soft necklace that it doesn't matter how much it's pulled, it's not gonna hurt the back of your neck because it is only fabric. So I hope you enjoyed that. A nice piece of jewelry that you can make in probably less than 20 minutes in any color you like and you can even make matching bracelets as well. So great for teething, great for babies just to fiddle with, or great as just a summer holiday necklace. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration, and I hope you'll join us again soon for more of our sewing demonstrations. Thanks. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.